Well, nowadays, your personal branding on social media is, of course, your calling card. And here now to share steps to help you build that brand, it's such an important thing, is brand consultant and executive coach, Dr. Hume Johnson. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. So good to see you, Brandon. Great to see you as well. You know, this is a great topic because so many individuals out there right now, they utilize social media day in and day out, and many of them yeah. may be doing so incorrectly. So many people out there assume that their online presence is what their personal brand is all about. So they start with the digital marketing, but this really doesn't need to be the case, does it? I mean, it's understandable why people would begin on social media. There are now 4.66 billion people online, and 4.2 billion of those people are social media users. Half a billion people joined social media just last year during the pandemic. And so we exist in this virtual world where we're connecting with each other, we're sharing information. I can watch you put up a very funny video on Twitter. And so it's, it's a place where we entertain ourselves and entrepreneurs are trying to sell their products and services as well. But one of the biggest mistakes that people make is to assume that their social media is actually their brand. And once they develop a large following, once they go on a hunt for likes, then that is a substitute for their personal brand. But your brand should not be a substitute. Your social media should not be a substitute for your personal brand. Your social media is actually just one tool that you can use to convey your brand once you have discovered what your brand is. So the first thing that people should really be doing is to get clear about what their brand really is about. What do they want to be associated with? What do they want to convey? Who they are as people and what value do they want to contribute to others and, and who are these others that they want to contribute to? And social media is really just a fantastic avenue by which you can convey your brand. And I'd I'd recommend people start offline, kind of figuring out what your brand is first. There really are multiple steps. You alluded to one thing right yeah. there. So what are some of the ways that we can follow to sort of help us enhance that presence and to really utilize it in the most appropriate way? Because we want to really maximize it. Of course. I mean, one of the one of the biggest steps in terms of building your personal brand is to understand who you are in terms of your personality. I mean, you have a very fantastic, outgoing, gregarious uh, personality, but is it a strength? Can you use that to to mobilize your own career? And we're asking people to think of their personality traits, their human skills. And if we've learned anything from COVID-19 in 2020 is that we have to come home to the self. Who we are, are we resilient? Are we empathetic? Are we adaptable? I mean, I've had to, to pivot from face-to-face -face teaching to, to an online modality, and my students have had to adapt as well. So a lot of them showed really strong human skills that they can bring into the workplace. We also want people to think about their occupational skills. What are you good at? What are you exceptional at? What competences do you have and what pain points uh, in your organization can those competences um, solve and you really want to add value in the spaces that you're in so draw on your expertise drawing on your knowledge drawing on your skills and your talents and see if you can contribute value to your organization we also want people to focus on their values what do you believe in you know what principles do you do you live by what what do you stand for and what do what don't you stand for and these uh, are values give us a sense of what decisions you're going to take. Because for personally, if I believe in family, I'm not going to take a job that's uh, out of town or away from my family. I believe in excellence personally. And so everything I do, I think that it should be done with quality. I should offer quality service. I should be professional. I should make sure that my prospects get that quality from me. And the, 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 the other thing we want people to think about is that your brand is not just what you say about yourself. Your brand is also what your prospects think about you. So the, the perception out there, what do your clients think about you? What do your colleagues think? What do the, the potential employer uh, think about you? So, you know, uh, Jeff Bezos puts it well when he says your, your brand is what other people say about you when you're not in the room. Uh, it's not just about what they say. We really want you to think about what you 
perceive yourself? How do you want to be seen? But also you have to pay attention to the fact that there is a perception out there which is lodged in the minds of other people, their ideas, their impressions. And sometimes we are mistaken about how we are perceived. We are going about uh, navigating the world, but sometimes we'd be surprised about uh, what other people think about us. And we want to make sure that whatever we think about ourselves is aligned with uh, what other people think about us as well. And you notice I haven't mentioned social media for the whole time. Right. I, uh, so the social media ought to be at the end of that process. You really have to think about it in terms of like your brand infrastructure. Right. I, I ask my clients to take an architectural approach. You're building a house and you want to think of the foundation of your brand. So social media and the visibility part of it, that's like the outside, the side vinyl siding, the roof, that's fantastic. Right. But we want to focus on foundations of your personal brand, which is your persona, your skills and your competences, your values and what your prospects think in terms of what you offer. And then you can now use social media and digital marketing to convey all of that. And there, there are ways in which you can be not on social media. You can, um, uh, you can leverage your brand offline as well right you can contribute to the community you can take a lead on a project at work you can write a book you can go out and do a stand-up act you know there are many people who have built solid personal brands long well, before the invention of the internet and we want people this is, to remember that this is tremendous advice dr johnson please take a moment to breathe you've provided a lot of information right here and i'm inspired and i know that our viewers will be as well terrific stuff if you guys would yes. like to learn more or to review this segment really some great advice from dr johnson you can get it at roadshow.com